Hello everyone and welcome to Picton in southwest Sydney. So today I'm going to be exploring the mushroom tunnel which you see right in front of us. So the mushroom tunnel got its name in the 1950s when it was used for commercial mushroom farming. Now I don't really know anything about mushroom farming so I can't explain to you why people would grow mushrooms in a tunnel. Maybe it makes a lot of sense, I don't know. If you know about mushrooms and about mushroom growing, let me know about it in the comments. Um, so this was originally a railway tunnel built in the late 1800s, then was used for commercial mushroom farming, um, and now has a bit more of a paranormal reputation. So uh, there have been a number of um, accidental deaths and suicides in this area. So some people will come here and explore and they say that they've seen things, heard things, um, look, I'm not much of a paranormal investigator. Um, I have done a few paranormal tours, but I haven't experienced anything. So today I thought I'd just go for an urban exploring kind of feel to this uh, video and maybe just check out some of the graffiti in here. So if you are going to visit, um, sensible shoes, as, as you can see there's some gravel here, um, there will be a few dips the further in that we get. Um, it is free entry. The tunnel is open weekdays until 2 p.m. So I think it's 9 a.m. till 2 p.m. Uh, as I'm filming this, it is closed on weekends. So if you work full time, that's your problem. Um, See what do we have here? What? Ah yes, art. So I would recommend bringing a torch even if you are visiting in the daytime. I have done this walk without a torch before, but um, not sure if you can see. There's like some dips. So um, yeah, you just you know might want to be careful, I would recommend bringing a torch. All right, kebab, kebab. So I'm not really sure what this would have been for. If anyone knows anything about uh, railway lines, maybe you could let me know what that doorway would be for. Cheyenne or Shane, I don't know. All right, let's keep going. No comment. <laughs> All right, Nick Jonas, you've got some fans down here in the mushroom tunnel. See, look, credit where credit's due to Lucky, I think it is, because it's dark down here, so you must have a good sense of proportion. If I tried this, <laughs> this would be all over the place, this would be illegible. So, you know, credit where credit's due. Now, I'm not sure who Basil is, but to me, Basil is Basil Fawlty from Fawlty Towers. <laughs> so I don't know if that's who this Basil is, but that's what I think of. <laughs> yeah, this tunnel is not so scary when A, you're using a light to explore it, and B, when you're just going for an 
urban exploration kind of feel. So that's the way we came. Ah, oh, what's this movie? The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Was that a book before it was a movie? Uh, should I edit this number out in the video? Nah, just don't call it. Yeah, so, um, don't know if you guys can see. There's just like this sort of dip here. So this is why I recommend bringing a torch. Stixie, all right, we get it. Okay, so I'd say this is the Aboriginal flag. Um, so for anyone who's not familiar with Australian history, um, Australia was colonised by the British, but before that, the Indigenous population, the Aboriginals and Torres Strait Islanders, uh, have been here for at least 40,000 years. So that flag that you saw... Oh, wait, there's, there's another one coming up here. Right, so this is the Aboriginal flag, so the top half is meant to be black and that symbolises the Aboriginal people. The bottom half is red to symbolise uh, the natural landscape and the, the red dust that we have here. And the circle in the middle is yellow and it represents the sun. And like in many other cultures, that's about uh, light and warmth and life. Right, so that... Uh, almost concludes our little urban exploration tour uh, but uh, no no tour of a graffiti tunnel would be complete without a penis <laughs> and I'm not really sure what the fascination is with drawing penises everywhere because it's something that goes back even to like ancient Roman times I, I don't really see the fascination but um, yeah if someone wants to explain to me what the what the draw is of drawing penises all over the place. <laughs> yeah, let me know. Okay, um, we're out of the tunnel now. So you could continue walking, but that is a dead end road up ahead. So the only way out is back the way we came. So I will do that and I will meet you guys at the end of the tunnel. Okay everyone welcome back. So the mushroom tunnel is down that way. Now I'm going to head down this way to see what's over here. So I would say that you could park here. So you can drive to the mushroom tunnel. I think you can park in this area. Um, it's also near public transport so I would say that we're within walking distance of Picton train station, so just FYI if you don't have a car. Alright, so I'm going to head up this way and see what I find. Okay, here we are, end of the line, so to speak. If you'd like to keep exploring, please do, but if you come across this railway line, please do not cross it, do not stand on it even to get photos. This is an active train line, so you know, I wouldn't want anything to happen to any of you, so please stay safe. Alrighty, so we came from this direction, 
Now, let's see what happens if we go this way. Oh uh, yeah, so you should watch out for snakes when you're here. <laughs> There's like a couple of really big signs that tell you to do that. So um, yeah, I might just focus on where I'm walking and uh, not so much on what I'm filming. So I'm not going to pan to the left just because that seems to be private property and I don't think the owners would appreciate me filming their backyard. Um, but yeah, here we go. This is a bridge over that railway line that we saw earlier. Let's go this way. What, no penis graffiti? I'm disappointed. So I think this path just continues to follow the railway track. I think I'll let you guys find out for yourself where it leads and I'll just head back the way I came. And then I think we shall go to the Picton Aqueduct, so stick around for that. Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm now at the Picton Aqueduct. This is a short walk or an even shorter drive away from the Mushroom Tunnel. As you can see, it's in a bit of a nature reserve, parkland kind of area. Nature is open 24-7 and it's free. Alright, so I think I'm gonna head up this way and I will catch up with you in a bit. Okay, 30 seconds later, here I am. So I would say this is more of a photography area. Certainly can't climb up on the aqueduct. I think, I mean I haven't checked it out, but I presume that you shouldn't. Can we go down this way? I think we can. Okay, <laughs> for safety reasons I'm gonna stop filming and I will catch up with you in a bit. Okay, I made it down to the base of the aqueduct. So, I don't know what you guys are gonna do, but um, I'm going to explore this area and I guess I will catch up with you guys in the next video.